Hey guys, it's Rachel with Bee Heel Dog Training, and I've got Maggie here. Maggie was just dropped off for a two-week board and train. She got here like 10 minutes ago, so super fresh, and I'm just going to walk her around a bit and kind of show you what we're starting with. One of the biggest reasons she's here is for her leash manners, and you're about to see why. So you can kind of see what we're, <laughs> we're dealing with. There we go. So, very, very strong dog. Maggie, come here. I mean, definitely, definitely don't want to allow this to continue, <laughs> right? She's putting so much pressure on her neck. And, I mean, think about all the damage that that's going to cause long term if she walks like that all the time on leash, right? So, there she is. Um, we're going to get her in a prong collar right off the bat. Just going to do kind of a little intro, intro to prong collars video to show you the process of introducing a dog to the prong collar for the first time and how to start teaching healing. So um, to my knowledge, she's never been on a prong collar before. And so that's why we're going to do this introduction to the prong collar. This is not something that you have to do every time you put a prong collar on a dog. But if it's the dog's first time or the first time in a while or you're not sure if they've ever been on a prong collar, you want to do a little bit of this pressure and release game to teach them how to yield to the pressure and to teach them how the prong collar works. Now a lot of dogs, you put them on a prong collar and they may resist, they may object. A lot of that is because the collar is a different sensation than, the, than what they're used to. If you do have a dog that acts a bit fearful, don't worry that you're hurting the dog, you're not hurting the dog. If you're doing everything appropriately, the dog just may be nervous in new situations and a lot of those dogs acted that same way the first time any kind of leash and collar was put on. You just want to guide them through the process. So I've not done this with her yet. Um, all I've done is size the collar. I've not done any sort of leash pressure with her at all. So you're going to see her very first reactions to it. And again, we'll just kind of see what we have and go from there. Come here, Carly. Hey, sweetheart. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put my prong collar on. As always, and I have other videos that show this and talk about this in more detail, but I'm going to clip her prong collar to her flat buckle collar just as a backup should the prong collar come off because that is possible. Get my leash on her here. And then we're going to take the slip lead off. There we go. Alright, so we've got her swapped out here. So I'm just going to start with this little bit of pressure and release. And what I'm going to do is put as little pressure as I need to get her to yield to that and move away from that pressure and as soon as she does yield to that I'm going to release and reward and so that way she learns okay when I feel pressure if I give to that pressure it goes away that's how it works that's what that that's how the sensation is so good job um, she's a big puller too a lot of times when you have a dog that pulls really strong like she does you may put your prong collar and leash on and they may try to go and that could startle them don't let any of that worry you if it happens. You just want to stay really calm and nonchalant. Hey, you know, let's go. We're just doing some work together. So, I'm going to do this little bit of pressure. Yeah, good job. And as soon as she turns towards me, you'll notice I'm doing a lot of kind of guiding her away from me and then leading her back towards me with that leash pressure. So I'm going to put a little bit of steady pressure. Good. Until she gives. You can see it's a really gentle process. There's no, I'm not having to put a whole lot of pressure on this. Again, I want to use as little as I need, but it also as much as I need. Good job, yes. Good, good job. There you go. A little bit of pressure and give. Good. So you just do this for a few minutes. Again, this is only going to be the first time you use the, the prong collar. You don't have to do this every single time you put your prong collar on your dog. It's just to introduce them and get them used to everything. So now what I'm going to do is start working on teaching her the heel position. With the heel position, I want the dog to be walking either at or slightly behind my leg. And the way I'm going to do this is whenever she's in the proper position that I want her in, there's going to be no pressure on the collar whatsoever. But anytime she steps outside of that little bubble that I'm envisioning, I'm going to give her leash guidance and get her back in the correct position. Now, since she's just learning this, everything is just going to be at an informational level. So I'm giving her information through my leash, but at this point, it's not a punishment, it's not a correction, it's me just telling her, no, that's not where I want you, this is where I want you. So I don't want to do this by pulling 
Now, with introducing the prong collar, I did do steady pressure and release to get her used to what it feels like. But now what I want to start doing is using more of a popping motion. And I say a pop, and that doesn't mean it's going to be a really firm pop on your leash. But you do want to use a pressure and release in a quick amount of time. It's not going to be a whole lot of pressure. And again, it could depend on the dog. If you've got a dog that's really checked out and all over the place, you may have to start off with a bit of a firm pop to get them to check in with you. But most of what I'm going to be doing is really just kind of flicking my wrist. And when you're first teaching your dog the heel position, expect to have to do that a lot because the dog is going to learn through that repetition. So the way this looks like right now is very different Sorry, I think my chicken just laid an egg because she's over there making a bunch of noise. Um, <laughs> but the way this looks now today is very different than it's going to look even just 24 or 48 hours from now. So, oh, she's joining the flock after she laid an egg. Good job, Maggie. We have Maggie and Maggie. <laughs> All right. Sorry, chickens are a little distracting. She's around chickens a lot, so this isn't a big distraction for her, which is good. Ideally, if you don't want to start a dog in an area with something this distracting, but she's pretty used to, used to the birds. So, anyway, I digress. Let's go. Again, what I'm going to do is you'll see a lot of flicking from my wrist as I'm giving her that information to walk beside me. And again, with how strong of a puller she is, I may have to use a stronger kind of almost at a corrective level at first so that she's not pulling and tugging against that leaf. That's exactly what we're trying to stop. But you'll see here, for the most part, it's really very little pressure at all. And none of this is painful to the dog. This is not about hurting the dog. This collar is actually designed not to hurt the dog. And with how much she was just choking out on her leash, this is a much, much safer option for her. So don't be afraid if you do have to give a firmer pop, you're not gonna injure the dog with your prong collar. You'll see I'm having to give lots of guidance. Now, I also don't want to allow the dog to sniff the ground, so that's important. And it's also important to note, if your dog is getting ahead of you and you're giving that pop with your leash, that flick with your wrist, make sure that it's a backwards motion and not an upwards motion. The only time I ever use upwards leash pressure is when I'm cueing the dog to sit or if they're sniffing the ground and I'm trying to lift their head up off the ground. But if the dog's getting ahead of you or off to the side, you don't want to pop up you want to pop directionally more parallel to their body. So I want to keep her, right now I'm working her on my right side, so I want to make sure she stays on that side. I don't want to allow her to zigzag back and forth behind me or in front of me. Good job. And already we've got a dog who's not choking out on the leash while we walk her. And I'm having to walk in kind of a small area right now to keep within the confines of this camera, but we're going to take her out on a little bit of a walk in a moment and show you what we've got compared to before. Good. Good. And when I come to a stop, I want to still make sure she's in that position at or slightly behind my leg. So I'm gonna start adding stops into my work here. Eventually we'll add an auto sit to that, but obviously she doesn't know that yet, so I'm not even worried about that at this point. I really just wanna start teaching her to stay close to me and not get way out ahead and drag me around. think to say this earlier my leash is short it's soft when she's in the correct heel position good job so when she's in a heel it's soft and there's no pressure but I'm not giving her my whole leash I don't want to give her I don't want to give her the opportunity to get way out in front of me or you know very far away from me so when you're doing your heel work I mean she's a tall dog she's only got about four inches of leash granted that's because her head is already about at my waist but they don't need very much leash at all because it's going to be a lot easier to give your leash information on a shorter leash. You can imagine if I'm holding out here and popping, she's not gonna feel any of that. It's not gonna make sense to her. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. So 
So even though she's paying better attention and not dragging me all over the place, I can't really position her in one spot very easily. I just, I mean, I just tripped on the dog, right? So make sure your leash is nice and short so you can give that information very quickly the moment that you need it. Good job. So now we're going to be walking more in a straight line down the driveway, going to kind of a new area. So we're likely to get more pulling from her and a little more um, guidance is going to be needed from me than what you're seeing a minute ago in the video where she was kind of getting comfortable in that space and understanding what we were doing. So again, I'm constantly giving these reminders through my leash. I don't want her to sniff the ground. That means every single time she goes to sniff the ground, I have to tell her, nope, we don't do that anymore on walks. Hopefully you can see her okay. Um, but you'll see my hand is just kind of constantly working to correct that position. And that won't be a permanent thing. You know, right now, like I said earlier, I'm having to teach her through repetition. So she's continuing to try to pull ahead or pull off to the side or sniff the ground. And she's gonna learn that every time she does that, there's pressure and every time she goes back into this position there's no pressure and she'll go hey I really prefer walking in a heel but you see a huge difference here from what we had just a few minutes ago I mean literally no more choking and this dog was seriously choking and gagging on the leash um, and we've got no choking or gagging I'm able to use very very little leash pressure god the amount of pressure I had just holding on to her on her regular collar and on a slip lead was ridiculous my hands are actually sore just from a few minutes of walking her around on that leash. And now we've got a dog we can walk in minutes. Is it perfect? No. But we're talking, you know, a couple minutes into the game here. So um, this stuff works. <laughs> it's highly effective and very safe. And so this is why I want to show you that process. I think a lot of people out there have kind of this mental picture of the first time you put a prong collar on the dog it must be so scary for the dog or that you're using a lot of force and pressure and that's just not the case it's not about force i actually want to use as little pressure as possible and you can see totally different dog here awesome Good girl. Very good.